It's Tetris with Billboard News, hanging out with my friends from the Dream Academy. Hi, ladies. I mean, what a journey it's been, and now we're here at the top 10. So now that we're here, what would you say have been, has been the hardest part of the journey? I think the hardest part so far has been saying goodbye to the other girls. That was obviously very sad. Yeah, I'm still so happy to be here with all of these beautiful nine girls. And speaking of being here with all the other girls, you guys have created a sisterhood. I mean, you guys live together. So tell me what it was like to share that bond. I feel like our bond is truly unbreakable. I think it's a bond like no other. I think having girls from all over the world is such a special and unique experience. And I think to be able to share these moments of moments that we'll cherish for the rest of our lives together has, you know, created this bond with one another that's truly unbreakable and it's such a blessing to be able to experience it with such amazing girls. Well now I want to know about some of these moments because I know there's <laughs> things that are happening that are behind the scenes. So tell me like what's a funny memory that you th that guys think you'll hold on to? I think my favorite memory is when almost kind of like the start of when we first all met each other is when I got my license and I drove them all around and we were <laughs> rapping in the car and we were just like we were like screaming the rap lyrics and it was just so much fun and it really built us all really close. Now we have to talk about this finale. Guys, I know you got to be a little bit nervous going into it, but also excited. So you guys are going to be performing original music. How's that feel? I think being able to perform original songs is like the biggest honor and like the most exciting thing ever because we've been doing covers. Now we get this chance to like show people what we can create. And it's like the first kind of like presentation of like what this group is going to be and what the music is going to be to the world so it's so exciting and it's nerve-wracking too but I feel like we've all like prepared so much we worked so hard like I'm so proud of all of us and I think it's going to be amazing like I feel like fans are going to love it and you're talking about presenting to fans there will be fans at the finale so how does it feel to finally see some faces in front of you guys when you're performing I feel like the difference between performing in front of a camera and in front of a live audience is so different and it's just this whole new adrenaline and I feel like the audience really gives you so much energy and especially because we get to perform in front of people who have been watching this journey with us and who have been supporting us and showering us with so much love. I feel like it's going to be even bigger than we can ever imagine and it's going to be so exciting to finally see the faces of people that we've been receiving love from. And I want to ask, when it's all said and done, the finale is over. What is the bond going to be then? For the girls that are here and the girls that aren't here, are we life friends? I definitely think especially already experiencing people that we have parted from in the program. I personally have always been scared of parting from people because I felt like I couldn't be with them like I couldn't hold on to them but this program even with some of the other contestants like we've created this unbreakable bond I know I'll never leave them again and so it's crazy because even though it feels like Dream Academy is ending it's this whole new chapter of lifelong friends for years and years and that just makes me so happy well you just made me so happy I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, we're going to have the best time on Friday, guys. I can't wait. I've been watching, obviously, the show, and every performance is, like, top tier. I feel like you guys kept topping each other. But what's your favorite? Like, I want to hear some girls' favorite song they've done so far. Well, thank you. Um, I think Mission 3, Buttons with the B Pussycat Dolls. I mean, come on. That was iconic. It was so fun. We, ha we all had a great time performing that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For me, it was also Mission 3, Pussycat Dolls. I loved performing that song. It was my favorite, I'd say, choreography out of a lot of choreographies. And I really enjoyed doing it with these two lovely girls. And who else was in the Pussycat Dolls? They're gone. They're gone. And I'm so sorry, but we'll, we'll miss them a lot. But I, I love you guys, and I really enjoyed performing Mission 3 with them. I think one of my favorite missions were, was Mission 2, which was the La Seraphim um, covers. I think it was really, really fun because it was not only just covering the songs, but it was also we got to experience so much. We went to Korea and we got to experience the culture there. The food was amazing. And then we got to actually meet La Seraphim, which was super, super, super cool. And like it was really 
like weird and shocking because we've been studying them for so long to master their <laughs> choreography and then we finally saw them in person and we were like oh my god this is crazy and like they knew our names which was really really sweet and like cool and like meeting them was just like I want to be just like you one day so I think that mission I really hold close to my heart because it was just such an experience well for me once I said that it was mission one but after doing mission three that's my favorite I mean it's spicy girls like it's so iconic and I'm with the spicy girls here <laughs> she's the baby spicy I'm the you know <laughs> so yeah it was just like so much fun the rehearsal was so so fun we were always just like we're also bubbly and cute, so we can't hide that. The, yeah. So I think w like wannabe was meant for us. <laughs> I can't even imagine the amount of talent it takes to do all this singing and dancing. So what would you say is one of the most difficult parts when it comes to choreography or recording in the in the singing? I feel like there's such a big difference between just recording a song and performing it while dancing and singing at the same time. I think it requires a whole new level of athleticism <laughs> in itself. Um, being able to just you know hold the note as well while you're dancing while also providing the strong movement but also like giving a performance and showing your artistry through that as well it's it's a whole nother level of of art form meets athleticism there's so many layers to it and I feel like it's such it's so empowering to do both at the same time and you know it it makes you feel like a superhero in a way to be yeah. able to do both like it's just it's a whole nother level and it's so exciting to be able to you know Pro provide all these elements into one, into just one performance. It's so cool. Emily covered it really well. Singing is like, you need to find your breath parts, like the breath control is so important, and you're dancing, and it's like your details, your facial expressions, and it's, it's almost like, <laughs> I, that's what I feel like when I'm doing it, but it's, it's so worth it, and like seeing the outcomes of all these missions that we've done so far is so amazing and I'm so proud of us for like taking on the challenge and being like hey we got this like we're gonna do it and that's what we did. And you were talking when both of you were talking I was thinking about some of my favorite artists like I was like oh my god like Britney Spears, Beyonce and like all these things people that sing and dance at the same time. I want to know who are some of your biggest inspirations. I would say and I think it's so amazing because we're literally in the same company as them but N Hypen has been one of my biggest inspirations. Inspirations. I love them. I think their music is so like my style and like listening. And when I went to, when we all went and like saw their performance in Korea, it was just like, yep, secured. I love these guys. Like they're so good. Their performance is amazing. And I really want to touch people like how they've touched me one day. Oh, 저도 우선은 방탄소년단을 봤을 때 진짜 어렸을 때부터 방탄소년단을 보면서 꿈을 키워오기도 했고 그리고 퍼포먼스를 보면서도 항상 엄청 와 너무 멋있다 이런 생각을 너무 많이 하고 그런 방탄소년단 분들의 퍼포먼스를 보면서도 그런 저의 퍼포먼스를 이렇게 해야겠다 이런 영감을 받기도 하고 그런 부분에서 방탄소년단 분들 너무 존경스럽기도 합니다. And when you think about the message that you guys want to put in your music, what um, what does it mean to you to represent so many different cultures and backgrounds? I think the biggest like part of this project and like reason that we're doing this is to represent all of our different cultures and it's so amazing and insane and it's never been done before that all of these different cultures are coming together and girl power like we're creating this insane group i think it's just a big responsibility and it's so it's it's just so larger than life to be able to represent our people and i think for me like indian people are very underrepresented especially in entertainment and in music so it's such an honor to be able to be that person. And I think for all of us, like we get to be that representative and inspire our people. Like it's, it's just so larger than life and surreal that we get to be that person, you know? I'm so proud of you guys and I can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. Thank